It's back. It's bad. <laughs> Gorgeous car, again. My favorite word to describe a car. Well, you know what's interesting about it, though? I was really expecting something maybe based on the Alfa Romeo 8C or something exotic. And essentially, this is a refreshed version mm -hmm. of the old Viper that went out of production a couple of years ago. It still has a V10, still has a full frame, fiberglass body but it is undeniably badass. To me, it's it's less gaudy than the old Viper, though. You know what I mean? Wasn't yeah. the old Viper kind of a... Yeah, although this this whole thing in the in the center of the hood looks a little proboscis-like to me. Yes. But, um, Pro yeah. Proboscis. Right. Right, yeah. That's why I brought the word guy. What but does double, that make you think of? I'll tell you, that's that's uh, in the car guy, car geek world, that's the double bubble roof. That's the double bubble roof. Okay. Right, and that's, like that. uh, that's one of those cues that we really we really dig. Yeah, it's nice. But here's what's funny, 640 horsepower. How much does it weigh? Probably about 3,600 pounds. That's a lot. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think it's the most powerful American car you can buy? 640 horsepower. Doesn't the Caddy have something bigger than that? Caddy? No. What are you talking about? Camaro? Camaro? Which? Who? Just answer the question, yes or no. Is it the most powerful American car ever yes. made? You know I set you up. No. What is? <laughs> Actually, the one that is, believe it or not, and these guys are probably so bummed because they thought 640 would do it. Uh -huh. The Mustang GT500 is going to have 650. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. That should be enough. Well, it's funny. I kind of wonder if, if this car and that Mustang are, are queuing up the end of an era. Okay. Right? See what you're 650 saying. horsepower? All right. What are you going to do? Greatest thing about these cars. You know, they've always had insane amounts of horsepower. They've always looked great. They've always been a little compromised or uncomfortable, a little hot. But what's, mm -hmm. over the years, they refined the handling to the point where you could get in these and you could drive them like they're Miatas. I mean, just hammer them. Mm -hmm. And they handled really well. They were really communicative and they, they told you what they were doing. And very few cars at that performance level do it. So I'm, I'm super excited to drive this thing. You haven't driven it yet. No, no, it just came out in New York no. show. This is the star of the show. Wow, it's uh, it's right, rightfully so. Yeah, it's a, it's a piece of work. And you know what else is funny too? They they were able to keep it uh, hidden. Usually, like photos will leak or something, and we'll get an early shot. Mm -hmm. Nobody saw this before it came out. And even better, they're building a race version. They're going to be at Le Mans next year. Mm -hmm. They're going to battle the Corvette, the M3, and the Ferrari on the racetrack this mm -hmm. year. Which that's pretty big news. It's great. It's good for Dodge to get in that circle. Nice. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm kind of hungry for a New York bagel. Let's go get a bagel. Now it's your turn. Tell us what you think. Is Joe full of it? What's your favorite car? Put it in the comments section below. <laughs>